You're going to your new home. He's so creepy. He sold. Yay. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good Sweet morning, everyone, and happy. Not April. February 20th. Happy February 20th. Well, I'm standing at the door of the shop. And I told you in, in uh, Monday's vlog that I was gonna do you, I was gonna show you the progress. Now, keep in mind of, you know, my, my the pop-up opening up. Vintage Hunter Collaborative opening up. That's horrible lighting. Ooh, that's better lighting. Let's get into this lighting. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we've done. Now, it's still a mess. We're not completely done, but we've got a lot of stuff done so far. So let me turn the camera around. You know what, before I do that, let me back up. Hello, my name is Misty. If you're new here, welcome to my crazy little chaotic and sometimes very confusing world, but I own a building that I run my reselling business out of. Used to be Wildflower Antiques. We had a brick and mortar. We were open for five years. We were doing very, very well. It was just a lot of work. And I just got to the point where I was like, I'm done. So we closed it and I did started doing everything online. We closed it right before the pandemic. So it was really actually really pretty good timing on our on our part because we probably would have had to close anyway, but you know, I used it as my reselling space. But now we are going to reopen it again and we are going to do at least if for the first year we are going to do pop-ups. It could evolve into other things, possibly. But right now we are going to do three pop-ups for the year 2024. The first one is June 29th, Saturday, June 29th. So I'll pop up some details there. Um, we are in Bedford, Indiana, which is Southern Indiana. So June 29th, um, we are going to have Fat Bird Finds here, the Cult of Vintage, Winking Out Antiques. Um, we are going to have Withering Cottage and Miss Pam Obama is all going to be here selling items um, in the pop-up. So what I'm doing is creating little booth spaces for them to bring their items and set up to sell. So let me show you what we've, what we've done so far. So this is a, a little area right here is one of the booths, probably going to be my dad's booth. He's gonna have his own booth here. We've got common areas down in the middle that we're, that are gonna be curated and just looking like, I'm gonna have fun with curating these, the areas in the middle. It's gonna be communal areas. Um, so the people will have their own booth spaces, but we can um, help each other and when we set up, um, we can like curate items using each other's things. Um, and then we've got a booth. This is my coffee station right here, but I'm going to put up another shelf and it's going to be another booth here. So we've got a booth there, a booth there, a booth here, a booth here, another common area, a booth here, a booth here, and a booth here, possibly another booth here. These things are going to be moved towards the back. But if you remember what this looked like before, <laughs> you could barely even walk through. I could not walk through this space at all because it was just filled with stuff. Now the stuff is in the back, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just going <laughs> to we're just going to focus on, on on this. So I'm very very pleased with it. It's I think it's going to be great. I'm really excited to be able to start I'm putting items in. This is my booth over here. So I'm excited to start curating it. I'm not going to do it yet because it's going to be the first pop up is in June. So it's going to be curated with like summary items. I like to switch out the, my items for the current time of year. We're also going to do one in the fall and we're going to do one at Christmas time. So it'll be all Christmas at that point. So every pop-up that we do, everything will be different. There'll be different vendors in here and the furniture may be rearranged. It'll all be different. So every pop-up will have a different experience. So I'm really, really excited what we've done so far. And yeah, it's just exciting. It's just exciting. I'm excited. I think I'm excited. Mark's excited and we're all excited. I was been a busy weekend. It's been a very busy weekend. We had our very first virtual antique marketplace blitz, 
which if you don't know, it is our virtual antique mall. So the Cult of Vintage Michael and I have created a virtual antique mall and we have over 200 vendors in the mall. So you can go to virtualantiquemarketplace.com and walk down walk virtually walk down the booths of this curated antique mall with vetted sellers that have all the tools that they need in order to be able to get you your items in a timely manner so we're really really proud of it we've been working on it for almost a year now and it's been it's been a lot of work but it's been a very big blessing so we are incredibly proud of vamp we are incredibly incredibly proud of it it's tuesday i did not go to starbucks today i made my own coffee because i got a wedding to pay for which was another thing that we did this weekend can we can we sit down and chit chat for a moment let's do that i probably should my should have put my camera on the tripod but i didn't wedding planning we've we went and toured my daughter my daughter emma is getting married in October. So we don't have a lot of time. She does not want to, she, she keeps going back and forth. She does not want a wedding. She does not. She is very practical. She thinks it's a waste of money. She just doesn't want to go through all of the pomp and circumstance of it all. She does not like the attention on her. She doesn't want, she just doesn't. It, she's a child that used to cry when people would sing happy birthday to her. She just doesn't like she just doesn't like it. it makes her very uncomfortable and so we keep telling her emma if you just want to go if you just want to go into lope do it up it's your day but i don't want you to not do something and then later on regret it you know so we went and looked at some venues just to kind of see what the options were and they're very expensive they're very expensive um she we told we told them what our what our budget is and um renting a venue is almost almost all of the budget just for the venue just for the venue that's not linens that's not, that's not that's not anything so that, that's not what she wants to do so we are going to do something else i'm not going to say what it is because again she's a very private person and i don't want to you know i don't want to do that to her so we're doing another route so that's all I can say about that. But it was a lot of figuring things out and kind of coming full circle again to everything. So, but it's still going to be an expense. Um, and you know, I got, I got a wedding to pay for. And even though it's not a, a traditional wedding in the traditional sense, it's still going to be expensive. So we, I'm having four sales this week. I no, Yeah four, five, five sales this week. And I don't have people that work for, I do everything myself. I do all of the shipping. I do the picture taking. I do the listing. I do the filming. I do the editing. I do the emails. I don't, and I don't want, I, I like, I, and I like it this way. And I don't, I know sometimes I feel I, I'm like very overwhelmed and everything, which it, it is, can be very overwhelming, but I don't know. I guess I just like to sit back and I, I want my customers to know that, that I, it's, I am taking pride in answering their emails myself and I am shipping their items and I'm adding little touches to their boxes and it's a lot of work and some may say it's very unnecessary but it means a lot to me and so that is and I'm not going to change it I, I I prefer it that way would I love for Mark to be able to retire and help me absolutely but that isn't the case so he's got 10 years before he can retire and who knows where we'll be in 10 years so you just don't know anyway and then now we're going to do the brick and mortar thing so it's just a lot but you know what it's exciting to me and it makes me feel like i've got a purpose <laughs> i know that sounds so stupid it's like i'm naven i'm a little naven from the jerk and i found my special purpose do you guys know that? That's like the best movie ever. If you have not seen The Jerk, you're missing out on life. The Jerk and Sunset Boulevard. Two of the best movies ever made, in my, in my opinion. 
Anyway, today is Tuesday. So today I have, I had our very first, or this weekend was our very first vamp blitz. So you heard me talk about virtual antique marketplace. Well, we had our very first vamp blitz, which was a very quick, stressful for a seller. I'm not going to lie. It is, but I, we, we wanted our sellers to be able, before they have the ability to go live on their own, to participate in a vamp blitz, and which is probably one of the hardest things to do as a live seller, is sell in a 30 minute time frame when you've got people that are waiting before you or waiting after you, it's on a new, it's a very stressful thing. And if they can do that, which they knocked it out of the park, every single one of them, then they are set. They are ready to go to do their own sales and they've got the tools and they they can breathe a little bit. It's just very, it was a very exciting event. I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of, of the sellers. And thank you guys so much for going to the sales and supporting them and, and building them up. I saw you in there like, you all are doing great. You all are doing great. It, it was just lovely. I love this community so much. I really, really do. I really, really do. I wish we could all just get together and hang out. Well, we can. You want to come to Bedford on June 29th? A lot of us will be here. So come, 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 come to Bedford, June 29th on Saturday. And there, did I tell you that there's going to be a parade and fireworks? I would like to say it's just because of uh, the Vintage Hunter Collaborative, but it's not. It's for the 4th of July. It's for America. It's for America. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Um, so today is, I have a live sale on YouTube. Well, I have a meeting at 11 with uh, Michael and v Veronica Vamp. And then we're already planning our second Blitz. So that's going to, we're going to discuss that today. And I have a live sale with Michael at one. And then I have another meeting for another possibility of something that I'm super excited about this afternoon, right after our sale. But I also have to ship the items from the vamp event. I already got the ones shipped from Sunday nights. This is what I sold Monday night. These are the items that I didn't get to, so they will be in the next blitz. And I had some eBay sales. I think I sold seven things on eBay overnight. And my God, I don't even remember what they were. So let me look and we'll pull the eBay sales and we got to ship those today too. All right. The, okay, so this sold on Vamp last night. Uh, this little play school chicken or chick puzzle and then backwards grover sold on ebay and this road road isle uh, road isle uh, mascara sold on ebay the instant crush half caked sold so, well instant crush half cake these are lip glosses saturday skin and this vintage Kamar Bear, all sold to the same person on eBay. This little Dolly's Nurse Kit sold on eBay. And Papa Smurf's House. Now, I tried selling this in my vamp sale uh, last night, and it didn't sell. And then the uh, person that came over to eBay, because I had it listed on eBay, and they bought it on eBay. So, <laughs> that sold. That was kind of funny. That sold as well. So, I'm going to get these items shipped as well. And then I did have a, um, a customer reach out to me and they are buying these little Napco clocked mice. So I will pull those and get all these things shipped and then bring these items over, start getting those ready to be shipped. And then I have my sale, my meeting and my sale. This Thursday, I am having a vamp sale. It's going to be, I'm going to do the rest of the jewelry and I might add in, I'm going to use this grid. We're going to use that grid again. And then I might, you know, it'll be jewelry and I might pull some like other little things to it too. And then that's going to be Thursday at one. So the jewelry, some other things. And then Friday is going to be a fun sale. And I'm going to do all these cabbage patches. <laughs> We're going to do buyer's choice. These cabbage patch kids. Oh. They make me so happy. So that's going to be Friday at 1. All right, it's enough of my chitty chat. Enough of the chitty chat time. 
and we got to get these things. This I just listed this on eBay, so I'm gonna put it over here on, with the eBay stuff. But we got to get to shipping. Let's do it. Well, I just had I just got those eBay orders shipped, and another eBay order came in, and it's one that I have been wanting to sell. I touched him last week, but he creeps me out every time I come over here. Him. That guy right there. Beep, beep, beep. Freddy. You sold Freddy! You're going to your new home. He's so creepy. He sold. Yay. Look at there. I put him in his box with a, my card and a sweet little Easter egg on his little mouth. It's just going to freak somebody out when they open that up, but... We'll get you packed in there, Freddy, for your journey. Okay, just got done with the sale. I got my stuff on my cart right there. I'm going to wheel it over because that's all going to get shipped tomorrow. It was a fun sale. It always is fun. It always is fun. I still, I've got to ship that stuff too. So it's going to be a full shipping day for me tomorrow. Oh, there's these, these two little... These two little precious things as well. But one thing that I didn't do, and I, I, it dawned on me as I was during the sale, because I mean, I just hit end sale, because we haven't done our affirmations. Now, I asked you guys in the last vlog, if you're like, do you want me to do them on Instagram? Do you want me to just not do them anymore or do them on Instagram? Overwhelmingly, the response was, please keep doing them. I like them. They help me. I mean, even though the day is almost over, I should have done them in the morning, kind of get into a positive headspace, but we can get into a positive headspace in the evening as well, just as much as we can during the morning time. So we're going to do our affirmations and our card. I have a couple things that I need to be opening. I got a, a now I did pay for this, but it is a mystery box of vintage. I did. I did. I got a box full of a, from a vamp seller. From a vamp seller, she said, I want to do a mystery box for you. I mean, I, you know, she gave me a price. I accepted and I'm going to open, I'm going to open that up. Probably going to do that tomorrow. I did go to the post office and I picked up some friend mail. So I will do that probably on Thursday. And we also, well, let me sit down and I'll show you. Y'all just missed a big calamity. That heart fell. It did. It scared, it scared me. I hung it back up, but that was that was a little scary. Because that's big. Fell off the wall. Anyway, um, Dad bought a big bag of mystery. So we got to do this too. I don't want these videos to be like completely just consisting of me just opening boxes and stuff, which is fun. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like doing this, doing that one, doing those, it's all, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, but I also wanted to tell you too, I mean, there's, I need to go through this because there's jewelry in here and I'm having a jewelry sale on Thursday. I'm not going to go through all of it right now. That's Looney Tunes. Oh, you know what? That could be something. <laughs> this is a Tasmanian devil. Watch and look, it says, oh, gosh, darn it. Misty. Let me get this on here again. Hang on. I touch it and it all falls apart. I have to wind it and see, but it, look, Tasmanian Devil is saying, me light. That's Looney Tunes from the 90s, I would assume. Um, that could be worth a little bit of money. I'll have to look that up, but it has the original little case there. I don't know. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just go through this now. We're just going to go through this now. Sorry. Oh, before we do that, though, you know. I got ADHD. I'm all over the place. I wanted to tell you that Riverside, which is one of my favorite antique malls here in Bedford, she and she told me I could share this with you guys, but there is going to be a um on April 27th, she is having their uh fifth annual spring fling from nine to five. Saturday, April 27th, there's going to be outside vendors and barbecue and the radio station is going to be there. But, and I will put Riverside's information in the chat. If you want to set up a booth for this event, 
she's looking for some vendors that would want to set up a booth. So I will put um, Riverside's information in the description so you can contact Lisa and maybe set up a booth. I'm going to be shopping there. It's going to be fun. So I'll, I'll put that in the, in the description. I don't know what this is. That looks like See, I look at it and think, is it for like, a, is it a laundry sprinkler top? I kind of don't want to touch it. I don't know what you are. Did it, what, it's that. We got that. My goodness. We got a lot of belt buckles. We've got a basketball belt buckle. USA. I don't know who, what player this is. He kind of looks like Larry Bird, which Larry Bird was, it's from 1978. Indiana Metalcraft. It could be. Larry Bird was from about 45 minutes south of here in French Lick. So there's that belt buckle. There's this one. Let's be amigos in El Paso, Texas. Now, some of these belt buckles sell pretty well on, on eBay. So I'm going to have to look those up. That one is missing the little latch on the back, though. This one is from Magma. Teaming up for the future. Safety and production. Nevada Mining. Okay. Then we've got 1911 Auburn, Auburn, Indiana. They made toy, toy cards. So this is another little commemorative belt buckle. Ooh, there's a lot of belt buckles. Which is, I, honestly, these are great to list on eBay because it's like, how many, not very many pictures. And they're easy to ship. And they're quite collectible. This is East Manufacturing Incorporated from Randolph, Ohio. Some flatbed truck there. I'm going to assume that these are probably from the 70s or 80s. This one is United States. The, uh, the 200th anniversary of America. Of the Constitution. That's a double eagle right there. So this is 1987. Or no, sorry. 1787 to 1987. Belt buckle. This one's just a big truck. Don't know what this, where this one's from. That's just a big semi truck. This one might be a little earlier, just by the look of that. That's a big coin. Big coin belt buckle. Could you imagine? Where this belt buckle? There. Big coin on the belt buckle. Um, that might be all the belt buckles. Oh no, there's another one. Ooh, this one's solid brass, USA. Solid Brass USA, Solid Brass USA. This is from Gaddy, G-A-T-T-I, Machine Erectors. They erect things, apparently, but it's got the paperwork and everything to, in it, too, so. We've got a little uh, vintage pen. I don't know. I'll have to test this with the, some Simichrome to see if it's Bakelite. Could be. We'll have to test that out. Then this is kind of tangled. Oh, no. What are you? This is not a terribly vintage. I'm going to say it's from the 90s. It's got this leather, or the 2000s even. It's got this leather cord. It's like a little key dangly. I mean, we'll put that in the jewelry sale. Well, here's another pin. It doesn't have like where it's from or anything because sometimes it'll be like a business or something. Um, and then we've got, I thought it was Boy Scouts or something. It kind of looks like a Boy Scout emblem. I think it's a little pillbox. Little gold toned pillbox. Oh my gosh, look at this necklace. <laughs> That's a dog. It's a blown, blown glass dog on the silver chain. That's pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Oh, look at his. Look at his. Look at this. Rejoice. Rejoice with this bear and his rainbows. Ooh, this has a name on the back of it, too. I can't read it. And then we got another little brooch here. Oh, this is a brooch slash a brooch slash pennant. Because you got that little hook there where you can wear it as a necklace as well. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Look, meow, 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 meow. This cat's got a little head. 
He's got little red jeweled eyes, a little angy cat. Pen, brooch. There's the back of it. So all the brooches will be in the jewelry sale Thursday, 1 p.m., which is tomorrow. Having a holiday week just really messes me up. This is a little reindeer Christmas brooch. This is also a Christmas brooch. This is a shell. I think I have one, something sort of like this over there. A little shell brooch. This one's really pretty. I don't see a maker on this one. But it's a big owl. Colorful owl with red eyes. This is a tie tack from... Oh, it's a JC. JC Award Blue Crown. I thought that was a baby bottle on there. I think that's some sort of a car piston or something on there. It's a little tie tack. We'll still put that in the jewelry sale. This is a finial hour, as my dad would call this. A finio. We have a bunch of keys. We've got, that's, a, that's an angel. And this one is Recovering Disciples through Bible study. No, not recovering. <laughs> becoming, becoming a disciple through Bible study. That's Santa. That's kind of cute. It's a little metal Santa. That's America. This one is an America flag. That's a dolphin. Um, oh, that's a little, a little person. A little pin back deal there. This is a cross. And, ooh, this is a, this is an older one. Are you a locket? I feel like you should, but I don't think that you do. No, you don't. It's a little hangy thing. I thought maybe that opened, but it, it doesn't. It's hollow. Got another bag. That didn't take very long. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than what it did. Ooh, this is a hummingbird. It looks like a... I think that you're just a bird. I was like, are you a narwhal? Like, that looks like a bird. <laughs> but when I had it like that, I'm like, are you a narwhal? Hmm, it's a bird. Oops. And Dad had to fight all the ladies at the flea market for these brooches. There's a puta schnuda right there. And, ooh, a lizard. This one's cool. I like that one. I could put that on my, I might put that on my uh, blazer today. Ooh, these are haunting. These are like little oil slick looking cats with no eyeballs. Meow, meow. And then we just have a bunch of keys. There's like more skeleton keys. All of these keys, there's some, like these are I think are clock keys. So all of the keys I'm going to put in the buyer's choice sale and I'll lock them up. You won't just get one key, but they're really pretty. So Thursday, one o'clock will be the buyer's choice sale. Some of these are like car keys too, but they still have like a really neat shape. Look how little that one is. Oops. Itty bitty. That one is from Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. And a bunch more little skeleton keys. So I'm going to put these all in the buyer's choice sale. Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern. All right, we got that out of the way. Now we will do our daily affirmations. And today is the 20th. The Windy Road Upward. Again, this book is linked in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description. So if you want to get one for yourself to read along or you just want one for yourself, then the link is there so you can, you can find it. This one is The Windy Road Upward. It's easy to look at what others have achieved and measure your own success, progress, or progress. Progr Let me start this all over again. It's easy to look at what others have achieved and measure your own success or progress against it. Comparison is a thief of joy, that is for sure. But no one starts out on top and no one gets there the same way. 
One of the most courageous things that you can ever do is trust that there is in fact a path and that path is whichever windy road you are traveling. Maybe it was windy road and not windy road. Okay. Uh, your path won't always be straight and it won't always be easy, but it will always be yours. And it will always lead you to the mountaintop that is perfect for you and trust that. I think that's pretty powerful because everybody has different struggles in their lives. You may look at someone and be like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have her life. She look, she's got a perfect life. I wish I could be more like them, but you don't know what's going on in their life. You don't know what private struggles that other people have or what's going on. So honestly, you may not want what's going on in their life because, you know, it's not something that people just go and share. Not all of us have like stuff that we share with everybody all the time. So I think if you're comparing yourself to other people, you're doing yourself a big disservice because you don't know what's going on in other people's lives. And a lot of times people can pretend that everything is okay when it might not be. So I think that that is a good lesson in um, you never know what somebody else is, what what hill somebody else is trying to climb. Um, so you should always just be kind. Sometimes the words that you say or the actions that you do, if you're leaving someone a hateful comment, if you're rolling your eyes at somebody, if you're just being nasty towards somebody, um, sometimes you have to think about that. What could that lead to? That could cause that person to really go down a really dark path. So don't waste your, don't, don't be that person, you know, focus on your own hill, your own windy, windy hill. And, and that's what you should focus on. What is the mountaintop for you? What does that consist of? It, for some people, it could just be getting out of the house. It could be you know, calling a loved one that you haven't talked to forever or struggles in a marriage or struggles with your children or X, Y, and Z with your job. Focus on your own mountaintop and quit worrying about what everybody else is doing because you just don't know. Okay, the, our card, our, our affirmation card, which I do put these in packages as package toppers. This says, I embrace my unique individu individuality. It's a hard word from individuality. I think that you know what I'm trying to say. We're all different. And thank God, I think we talked about this another time. Thank God we are all different and we're not all the same. Embrace your uniqueness. Follow your heart, not the expectations of others. Have the courage to ask yourself, who am I? And embrace it. Be your own little weird self. You know, if you like weird things, that's fine. If you dress funny, if you wear weird shoes, I don't know. I mean, just be yourself. If you want to run around town in gold lame, then do it. Stop waiting on, on certain things to happen because you know what? They may not ever happen and you've got one life to live and you need to live it up. Live it up. Live for now. Don't worry about the later. I mean, within being responsible, do you know what I mean? Don't go, you know, don't go spending all your money and that kind of stuff. But I mean, don't constantly be saying, well, I can't do that until this because you don't know if that, if you, your next day is going to happen. So it's just something to think about. Okay. Well, this might be actually, I don't know how long this vlog is. I haven't kept track. It might be a little bit shorter of a vlog, but they're going to be like that some days. I have a meeting at 445. It's 428. So I am getting ready to do that. And then tomorrow is going to be a shipping day. Um, and tomorrow is also going to be a day that I am not going to be, well, I don't know. I might vlog I might vlog a little bit tomorrow and Friday and put that video up on, uh, I don't know. I, I, I still don't know what my full schedule is. I didn't vlog much over the weekend, um, and I may not do that sometimes. Tomorrow's pretty much going to consist of me shipping all day. That doesn't make for a fun vlog, but actually, I take that back. I'm going to open up this big box right here because I already told you I was going to do that. So we're going to open up this big box of mystery 
So that's what I will we'll do our affirmations and we'll open up the big mystery box. But I wanted to show you the, the shop. We talked a little bit about the wedding plans and all that sort of thing. But thank you guys so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. I feel weird when I don't vlog now because I've gotten so used to just having these moments and stuff with you. So I really do. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Um, Mark and I are going to be going on a little shopping trip this weekend. So there will be some shopping videos coming up. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Missy, we don't care. We just want to see you, your shopping. But you know what? There will be some shopping and they'll be intermingled within the vlogs. So that's just the way that it's going to work for me right now. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching and, um, and I will see you. No, where are you at? Right there. You're right there. There you are. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Like a bald head, a man put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.